if they get their pick of the litter and they pick 11 in a row that's the hope heroic back in the lobby and not a lot of util to get them where they want to go refresh has the smoke molotov and bit in a very difficult position ramp side solo as well Gonna have Boomich able to rotate if he wants, but Bit needs help immediately running away. Kadian's lurking a yard. Simple should hear this though, and so Kadian hopping and weaving and catching Simple in the open. Doesn't matter. Tapped out already. 30 in the previous map meant nothing for Simple. He needs more than ever now. Yeah, Bit's really about to get tested. There is about to be an almighty flood coming his way. Electronic watches on from Decon, trying to help his teammate out as best he can. And here they come, Bit. Oh, oh maybe a lamb to the slaughter here. But no, they're helping him out. They're keeping him guarded. And he's able to tuck himself back in at dark. This might slip away from Heroic. They're losing okay. players left no. and right. But suddenly, down and refresh. Come in with kills apiece. Chance at a bomb plant now, but they want to rush Boomich. They want to pressure this man, and that's the bomb throwing forward. Stown's getting boxed in. He's in this bomb site. Perfecto's pushed up. Door now closes on Perfecto's wrap round, but he's moved up to join Boomich here. Stown about to get double peak, about oh, to get double swung, and there's no escaping that. Na'Vi, they will stumble back to their feet. A convincing start that gets a bit weird in the middle because it's Stown and Refresh finding all those frags in the blink of an eye. But in the end, Na'Vi do get it over the line to find the pistol to open up this third map. Yeah, a little reassuring, right? Not crumbling when they definitely could have after these kills come in, but was trapped out of dark. They knew he couldn't escape either. And, oh, very scary situation there, double facing. But you've got the better guns, you've got the manpower, and you've got the faith. Right now, Na'Vi having a good reason. 101. An heroic in a force by pistol conversions have come through for Na'Vi, not always for heroic. So we'll see if these Deegs can upset. Bits wide on ramp. He's got a bit of an angle, but they can creep through the smoke on the right side. Simple Tessa's trade shots outside. A bit re-aggresses, ready to drop if needed. And he might need to be heroic R grouping. Oh, even simple here as well. Or not. Now we try to make up their mind as smoke's come into the yard. Faking a secret cross that is never going to happen. Heroic here to hit ramp hard. Yeah, and Bits, the only st thing that stands between them and getting this ramp control. He's going to hang around to fight this. Might need to drop down, and he's out of there. Oh, Simple dang. gets one, but they're taking hell away from Na'Vi. The lobby push held onto by KD, and it's Electronic making mincemeat of this push up to heaven. And now it's only Stown left. The Molly's going to force a fight out of him, a fight that he did not want to take. And so the conversion lands for Na'Vi. Now just Glocks between them and a 3-0 scoreline. Yeah, we've been crediting Heroic's T-sides a lot throughout this event, but you've got to keep in mind that here on Nuke, on this impeccable map for Na'Vi, it's T-sides where they actually do their best work as well, right? And and if you look at the numbers, even by a percentile, Na'Vi are, you know, are going to be better on this T-side at least in terms of those results that we're talking about. So, Heroic are really going to have to work hard after losing this pistol. That first gun round really has to come through. They don't want to be going down, you know, 5-0 and, and pulling this late comeback. We've seen that a lot in this series, you know, with uh, with late recoveries in the second half. Simple, chill, USP taps out Shush from Silo. Doesn't need the MP9. Likes to have a challenge, does this guy. And likes the farm and eco as well. You know he wanted the knife. That would have been lovely, but that might e be even better. Simple double and the range game. Can't convert a third or fourth in the round. Electronic will sneak up to finish the job. And this is always going to be Na'Vi's. It's just about how clean. Yeah, four alive is fine. You know, it means Simple can actually bring that AWP out right away. He's not pressured by the uh, the bonus round and, you know, just wanting to fight with what you got. It should be a lock in. And there it is. Electronic with a double of his own outside. This double hold of Electronic and Simple is going to be a, a, a tough thing to get past indeed, right? We, we kind of had, you know, heading into that Heroic Liquid game, we were touting the the fool in a liege outside duo is something that could cause heroic problems. Well, simple electronic, that's kind of like the level up above it. Yeah, it's, if anything, I don't know what Refresh is doing. 
there looking up, but he's looking at Cadian. Maybe that's what gave away the position of Cadian above Silo, the fact that Refresh is even staring at the sky right there. Simple wanted to walk in. You can see the hesitation there on that shot. And hell, why not? If you can start to get knives in a map three, you know, Kadian tried it, it lost him, or almost lost him around. But that was one that was never going to go down the way of heroic. This one needs to be, though. A bit of ER control for smokes. Electronic, he's making things weird. He's up in their face and they're walking. So he doesn't know they've crossed until Simple gets to the spot, sees them red. Electronic now wants to line up three kills in a row. Maybe he'll get it, or maybe he'll get caught by the late lurk. There is another man coming outside, Cadian moving in, and oh, he doesn't know, he's missed his own timing. Tessa turns around, Cadian gets the shot off at least, and Electronic, there were shots there, there were chances, but none falling to his favor. Yeah, that's pretty brutal, you know, that could have been the round on a silver platter. Navi have called for this double lower rotation, with Heroic taking outside of fielding this man advantage, they're feeling the pressure now. Heroic don't even have to commit to B. They could try and chance their luck on a rotation back up towards this A site. Boom, it's just playing for the info, jump peeking this and missing Ooh, every timing. Him, they yeah. ducked underneath him while he's doing this oh. jump and he just hits like a very unfortunate oh, timing no. there. His teammate in the site is not at all ready for three players to come out, but still Bit's gonna hold the line. Putting up a double, however, oh. boom, it's brushed aside and a missed shot out of Simple. This B bomb sights up in the air. They lose this vent control as well. It's still hanging in the balance. They're trying to chase down the decon player, but Perfecto's got his head on a swivel. Time. Simple left to beat. There's seven seconds. Kadian might need this frag. And with him not getting it, the round is Narvi's. They lock it in. Simple wins it just by staying alive. It's close, but no cigar for Heroic. Oh my goodness, you've got to give it to her. The, the anchor man a bit there, right? Doubling up on B. Like, I'm sure he's aware that timings could be missed, but like you said, three players coming through after, you know, Boomich is jumping all the time. Yeah, Heroic are ready for that. They duck it. They know what Boomich likes to do in the secret position. And then Perfecto comes in with a swing and a hit. Two kills from him, even if he doesn't hit Cadium. I like the trick for Cadian as well. Lobs the nade. He's trying to create the plume of smoke to give him a bit more room, give Simple a bit less vision. But it doesn't matter. He just won't peek him, mate. Wins it to time. And that was the undoing of Darby in the first map. It might be what gives them life here. Quick pick outside. Simple trades Cadian's main drop onto Electronic. But Heroic still take the position. They know it's clear. And they're going to use that to their advantage. Just missing the timing on a player getting into rafters. Simple doesn't know either. He drops in. They haven't seen him. And he's caught off by Refresh. Refresh looking ready for the second man they immediately check it perfecto is dead after one a site crumbles and you know bits the rap player it's heaven or lobby that's the call to heroic drop b yeah and with the decision the b drop made the round is as good as done heroic are looking to put their first on the board and bit is just too far removed from the action uh -oh. Uh oh my god oh Whoa. it's weird <laughs> it's weird but it's all fine. Bit still scoping out the A bomb site. Wanting to get this AWP, I'm imagining, from the body of Simple. Stown is likely aware of that, though. That enticing promise of a free AWP. And so he hunts down Bit. Nice bit of uh Nice bit of like allocation of, of leaving Stown in the lobby. It, it's twofold, right? Not only do you deny that AWP save, but now you get it for yourself. So that's going to find its way back into the hands of Cadian, perhaps. Yeah, and early up for Cadian, but the call is definitely to watch out for these aggressive rounds out of Na'Vi now. You know their money's pretty botched, and so maybe some close positions again, maybe Electronic working outside or a ramp push. Got to be careful. Simple's got an orb. Glass. Image drops vent. The smokes are down outside, and there's a communication there. Navi tell them there could be players B. Don't know. Could be none. Could be all. Oh, that's a risk you got to take. And so they won't over rotate. Just Boomage spotting the lower site again. Probably not going to be doing those jump spots for a while after they let him down the first time. And Iraq, well, they've got two lower. They are in no hurry to commit. Waiting Boomage's smoke first. Three on the top site, still working. Boomish, safer position. Well, maybe not safer, but guaranteed info at least. They're going to boost, though. Watch out, Boomish. It's going to be scary, and it's a jump scare. He sees him. The info is in the hands of Na'Vi. You know Heroic are down, but you don't know it's not the majority.
Yeah, and, and seeing that boost, if anything, you know, kind of gives you this illusion that there might be more players here than there actually are. You know, you, you've pulled this rotation of simple down to B early. And Heroic were never looking to go B. Instead, they throw this utility into the A bomb site. These vent players are gonna come back up from the B site now and look oh. to move in. Perfecto's mollied out, low on HP and finished off by Shush. And really, this should be a save for Na'Vi. There's not a lot you can do here. You've lost A, four on five. You know, it might feel tempting, but it's not worth it. Especially they throw in the towel, and so Heroic grab this second flawlessly. Especially when you have a botched by anyway, right? Like, that's not that's not even tempting for Na'Vi. They have no kit. Simple's got a glass orb. You, you don't have utility either. There's there's no position. There's nothing about that that screams, come retake this bomb site. Lovely util set for Cadian, though, right? They completely fake out Na'Vi exactly how they want. They show 2B, and, you know, the, it's not even misinfo. It's just info. Like, Boomish probably causes, yeah, at least 2B, and it could be more, but we don't know that. And Na'Vi throws a couple down lower, they leave Perfect away, but the util set for Cadian is sick. He mollies backside from Roof, then he flashes, and Perfecto is so blind, he doesn't even know he's standing in the Molotov. More util outdoor, main smoke, double high, heaven flash. There's just nothing Na'Vi can do. So Heroic, they've got the tricks of the trade, they've got the tactics up their sleeve. Yeah, I almost wonder if maybe we get like a simple or electronic early set towards secret, trying to get more of a read as to whether these outside smokes are an illusion or if there are players crossing behind them, because it's doing a lot of work right now for Heroic, you know, just these standard outside smokes. It's always leaving that seed of doubt in the mind in RV. And even though Boomich has been on the early rotates, ooh, well, hold on a second. Oh, Out okay. into A, refresh is so blind, but he's in the back line. They don't know about him. He's doubled up. It's all gotten a little bit weird. Bits, Bits dropped in. What? Bits trying to make a big hero play, but only good for one. Simple and electronic. They're going to flash electronic through. Oh. A missed shot out of Cadian and electronic with a double. I don't even think he meant to get the second guy. It's a lineup. And so now the, the script has been flipped again. Tessez might be tempted to drop down through the vent, right? You just saw someone flashed electronic in for that play. When you open up this scoreboard, when you see who you've got to clutch against, your heart must sink a little. Tess says, on for the 1v2. First Ooh. man down. Electronic will wow. trade it out and gets four in the round to find Na'Vi. That weird little, you know, partial investment around the saved guns. That's so beastly, man, because as, as that blind player in the smoke of Boomich gets overwhelmed, Electronic spams the smoke and then gets a kill. Everyone for Heroic looks at main, and that's what allows Bit to drop in. He only gets one kill, but then that's enough for Electronic to just line up a double out of nowhere. Like you said, I don't know how he got two kills there and even clutch it out against Tess's on B. Look at this, standing next to each Ooh. other. Perfect spray, the flash from Simple just to the right side as well and that helped out oh my goodness making the famas look good again it's five to two rogue hold on for a moment but the top hit denied against the broken bar. i love how willing to fight now we were there man like that's kind of the the respect that you would often see them you know give to heroic in those situations but there they're flashing it they're in your face they're making big drops out of heaven on guys like fit Vent drop attempt for Stown, and he will get down. No, no get out, but he then go back 80. in. He got yeah. stuck in the door, stuck in the smoke, lost in the source, and so they decide against the vent drop. Do they know? No, oh, they do know. The molly came in. Tessas must have seen electronic cross from his silo spawn, oh, well, look, and they his... come in to help out. Simple's also doing the same, but they are running smokes. They don't know about it. To ramp split bit, needs a double, and he keeps the round alive. Now Simple can shut it down, but they won't commit outside. The one smoke they throw does absolutely nothing. Simple confirms that fact, and so it's obvious at this point. Navi are calling. What's your eight? What's your ramp? Yeah, they say hold out of uh, Perfecto and um, Boomich is about to get tested, you'd like to think. They could eye up a vent drop, right? You've got smokes, you've got flashes to make that happen, but instead it's just a contact play out through the door. They've been given a lot of room. <laughs> now simple <laughs> nose goes. Yeah. Oh, you always get no simple <laughs> double up on the ladder. One button on the mouse, as they say, and he makes it happen. Oh. That is the round over, and those are the shots that only Simple can hit.
the RNG of the nose scope, the RNG of the ladder, but it's all by design. It's all calculated. Any more stadium in the water? Simple is sick. Absolute filth. I, I, you could just feel it was going to happen. I don't yeah. know how he makes it happen so reliably. We always say this game's on rails for Simple. It's like playing a single-player campaign that the guys don't even shoot back. Like, you just what are you have to be to in the right place. This? What are you meant to do? The game's not meant to work like that. <laughs> <laughs> both kills in both shots he fires. Chill. And then this as well. Oh, it's just mental, isn't it? It is just unreal. Simple with a round saving play. Electronic dies oh, outside. Flash. The late smoke comes in and Cadian's flash helps out. Bit was good to hold on to ramp last time, but this time he's overwhelmed. Boomich might be down on B early, but with ramp control taken, the worry is they might not even end at B. Boomich wins his fight to refresh, but that's not going to stop the coming tide of Heroic down through ramp. Boomich has got his work cut out for him as he swings the decon door. Contact is made, and he's starting to paint a picture of what this oh! round looks like. Simple, with the backstab, has come in and brought us back to even odds. Hungry for more, Ooh. isn't ready for Stown up on the rafters. And so now there's a break in the action. Perfecto and Boomich left up in the retake. Yeah, crossfire's there, though. They don't check for Kadian. He's full blind. He just holds mouse one. Perfecto in for the second. But even the clutcher can't contain Shush. Sitting on the bomb like a mother hen. It's a heroic round locked in. That fast flank for Simple. Maybe he gets ahead of himself. Feeling it after the previous round. Doesn't check down on the rafters there, blending in with the background and Heroic. They lock in a lower take. That's your danger if your ramp player gets nothing done, right? It was already a pretty rough position for Na'Vi anyway, but then when Bit dies, it just opens the runway for Heroic down on lower. And I like that they take that space, insta-plant, get in position, take back the, the control room as well. Heroic aren't hesitating when they're taking B quick and simple chill again. Stan will make sure he stops Guns picked up, but it's only a Mac 10 for Electronic. So it's fine for Heroic for now. The King down. And now he's just his merry men, his jesters, to fight back. How does Electronic want to play this? The Mac 10 is, is not the uh, weapon of choice. Oh, oh, a close. lot of damage. Boomich now spotted in main as well. And they're just crossing, sailing past behind these smokes. Perfecto attempting to move in and cover his IGL, but a player's already let loose in garage, and Perfecto will get dropped. Down goes Boomich, and just like that, the A-bomb site is secured. Round one for Heroic, now up onto four. Able to break apart the D-ground while the guns are coming back through again. The AWP's gonna feature on Simple. That's dropped by Perfecto. Haven't seen too much out of Cadian in that regard. But got the money to bring one out again if he wants. Yeah, it leads me nothing at this point, right? If there's one thing we've learned from, you know, not just this game, but this tournament, from Counter-Strike as a whole, anything can change at the drop of a hat. So, Rogue can never get comfortable, neither can Na'Vi on this CT side. Simple's gonna throw himself right into the fray again, but he sees nothing behind blue. They're lining up this A-pop. Heroic's util on this a site has been nice. Got plenty of uh, variances on this strategy. This time it's a hot roof molly for Cadian. Tessas, maybe even with one for Heaven as well. There they go, landing on Raft. It's cleaning out as many spots as they can. And Boomich up close is cleaned up. But for, for Perfecto, he's dropped the bomb. Only seeing legs, that's enough. He knocked, he's knocked off the top. Electronic and simple now. Back at the bomb site. They pick up the package and they escape. Yeah, they're going to go running into bit. We need another ramp hold out of the guy. He spots Cadian and now. This has put the seed of doubt in the minds of Na'Vi. They preemptively get they a player in fence, <laughs> but Simple and Electronic still up oh. on this A-bomb site. Electronic fakes them out. So there is oh. Simple with the closer. You oh, just he's... saw him shoot up through the vent. Now he's on hot roof, ready to find you. He's feeling it, man. He, he is feeling it, right? If the orb shots weren't enough to, to even get you involved, like that is, he just tells Electronic, yo, watch the smoke. I'm about to end this guy's whole career. Drops vent very loud. Rogue like, oh, I'll take the space. I'll walk the smoke. Boom, Electronic's got him locked in. It's fake info. And like you said, immediately on the hot roof, not a second of hesitation. Simple's in the position to close the round. Orps are out though. Cadian's got hits. It's a big buy for Heroic. 
Maybe we get a slower start, right? Let this orb work. Kadian's jump spotting outside, not seen simple yet. Main roof drop has been tagged by the garage player of electronics. They know Tessis is low. He'll drop behind main. Unlikely to see him get that orb. Probably just going to be used as the first man in. Simple rotates as he often does on the CT side of this map. Likes to keep him guessing. Heroic is still committing outside as Simple sits on the aircon. Electronic tucked in behind the box. Simple needs the trade. Miss shot goes back for more and he hits that leg or tag rather through the wall. They're getting close though. Simple, he's shooting a scout right now. Two tags, no kills. That will do. Shush dead. And Perfecto holds on to the A side like he always does. Simple, the closer is all that's needed. Refresh. Oh, he's playing with him. He's got a timing. Round the box. Simple's into garage. Refresh is right behind. Oh my god, okay, refresh with one to his name. But it's a big dog to have removed. Simple cut down. Now we tagged him up earlier on. Will this be remembered as the man who got away? Refresh fakes that he's attempting the A play with that retake smoke in heaven, but is he ready for this angle in hell? Held close, it's not oh. looking like it. And there's Bit with the closer. Eight on the board for Na'Vi, and I I'm inclined to agree with you. Simple does look like he's feeling it right now. He's throwing himself into these gunfights. He's making sure he's at the forefront of all the contact for Na'Vi. And, and you know, in a lot of ways, this kind of felt like what was missing on Overpass. He didn't have Simple in this form where he was just hunting down frags left and right. Here, he wants to be the guy making first contact nine times out of ten. Simple CT opening on new keys uh, is my favorite. Certainly more, one of the more fun players to watch. Ah, CSGO, the miss nade. Always hard to get through those tight gaps. Boom, it drops vent, but only just three health coming up as a death sentence. That will drop on his head, but the inaccuracy almost lets him down. Instead, he puts Boomich down, and Perfecto needs another spray. He's only good for one. Simple, overwhelmed by Tessas up in heaven, and Heroic finally crack their way into the A site. It's been costly. The grenade does nothing, but drop down the fence. Down's dead again. Bit already lower from the ramp spawn. And now a two on two, you know about both positions. Yeah, time's gonna be the problem here for Na'Vi, especially with Bit having to sneak the majority of the way up through secret. Oh, they've heard him. They know all about this main wrap now. And Tess says is homed in on the position. Flash from Bit or Electronic gonna come through to try and get them off these angles. It's Bit flashing for the Heaven Peak, but oh. both Tessas and Shush win their fights. They had each other's backs to the very end there, both just homed in on the positions that Na'Vi are coming from, and they leave nothing to chance. Five on the board for Heroic, that little A pop with very little invested for the, uh, for the Danes. Nets them a fifth round, and so they're still in with a chance of making this a pretty close half after all. Yeah, like I said, T-Sides, right? We need a lot of rounds out of them. This uh, isn't 2013 anymore. Right, no AWP in this one. They could have gone for it, but rather not. Full rifles are back outside. It's only a ruse this time. Boomish saw Katie, didn't seem aware though. Refresh gets down secret for free. Now this gets heard. Electronic would have heard some tippy taps, some steps perhaps, but Boomich and Bit drop lower immediately. That's exactly what Heroic wanted. They've weakened other areas of the map. Look at Ramp, it's free. It's open for the taking. And if Heroic stay contact in this, a very ballsy call. Navi are never going to know about the lost map control. They can consider it. But three players sneaking down Ramp to B. Bit's got his work cut out. Yeah, now contact's getting made right now. It's becoming clear. Bit bought down low and calling for rotations at this point are these B-site boys. They, they've kept the vents control at least. So maybe an easier path to the rotations for Na'Vi. But even then, you're kind of clutching at straws to find a way to make this one doable. Refresh, even a double here is worth its weight in gold. That's really going to seal the deal on the save call. Na'Vi were all in in this round. And so what they have now is really all they've got to stop this eight seven half from coming through also a little detail there at right? the outside yeah. smokes thrown by heroic it's uh one that needs the molotov down to pop in the right place and i think that's a pretty cool idea right it's really not uncommon to see those outside smokes get mollied they actually throw their own one to make yeah. the smoke pop in the right spot Is and it, it also helps yeah, yeah and it helps clear out that red box 
It's good, yeah, especially when you have electronic on the other side. You know, this guy's always getting up in your face. He's already been doing it sometimes, crossing uh, out main, popping through red smokes with flashes from heaven. These things happen for Na'Vi. But not if Heroic don't allow it. And they are building back in. Like you said, not much left for this last round for Na'Vi. Just that loss bonus, that very minimal loss bonus. And whatever they saved for the previous. So an AK-47 and not much more. It's in the hands of Simple. At least thrown over to the man of the hour. Let's see what he can do with it. Yeah, he's crossed behind red. He's looking to fight for this outside control. He's getting wild oh, with it. Crazy. Acadian will put a leash back on Simple. That's the gun removed, and that's basically irretrievable. Good luck getting that back from outside. You're down to Deagles, you're down to MP9s, an early rotation down towards B out of Electronic. But only one man has crossed outside for Heroic. This is looking like another one of these A commitments, and that kill might entice them in, or it might just prompt them to hold their ground for now, anticipating more aggro. Out an RV, they'd be right in that assumption. They're looking to lock it in here in the lobby, and that's where they're gonna send guys like Boomich. There's the killing. Let me finals on the line. Second half of the third map, and it's all to play for. Navi's T side, their 10 win streak. Don't stop now. Oh my, double Dolberetta push into the lobby. It's not gone well out of the gate. Quaddies. Yeah. <laughs> No, and outside is uh, also a slaughterhouse. Simple, <laughs> good for a double. P250, by the way, cheaper than the dual Berettas, and he's gotten two out of it. Better as well. It's down with the Doolies, and Woo! Simple with a third. He's making a splash, all right. And now, just down, and these sad Berettas in through the lobby. <laughs> Plenty of ammo. That's the. That's all. That's all you have going for you. And oh, Dolly's versus P2, the ultimate challenge. Simple, Ooh. gonna close it with four. And yeah, they might have came in with four pistols on two players, but it's Simple taking four um, out of the round with the, his one gun. Oh, it's so much better. The Julies, man, stop buying them. And now Na'Vi, I mean, that's one way to flex your muscles back into the second half. Simple just comes in, screaming outside, taps everyone out of the round, everyone out of the server, and that's got to make you feel good, right? It felt like Simple, yeah, he had those couple of aces back on over past those anti-eco kills, but it didn't feel like Na'Vi were ever in control of that T side. Well, that's going to kick you off in the right direction. Yeah, it's been a pretty wild series so far, and it's only going to get weird at Na'Vi crossing with the outside smokes early to begin. A little anti-four spy round. Simple gets down with his old mate Electronic here, and that's the bomb in tow. Mitch going to join them. The majority set up in secret. Bit and Perfecto still holding on to the lobby. You know, it's very, very common when those outside smokes go down for CTs to re-aggress, try to take lobby away, both for the information and to deny any chance of that bomb coming back up. Well, now they hear this utility raining out. This is a bit of a ruse, right? Trying to give the illusion that not many people cross behind those smokes. You see utility coming over into A, and you're hoping to keep numbers on this top site. It's done exactly that. It's served its purpose. There's no early B rotation. And so right now, Na'Vi have got free reign of this lower site. Yeah, free plant as well. You're not going to go in gung-ho, right? You're still going to be ready for a bit of resistance, but you need to be soon. Boomich will find out the easy way. Much nicer than the hard way, that is. But here's the hard way. Down on ramp. It doubles up. No problem. He can hold it. He can take it, but he can't stop the flank in lobby. That's a gun given over. Perfecto, they know about the second man at ramp, so they won't go trifling. Instead, they'll just go back and save that AK. Bodyguards, a boot, and heroic tuck tail. That's 10 rounds to Na'Vi on a 10 win streak. Closer than ever before. Yeah, I'm never ready to write Heroic off. I had to learn that the hard way. You know, they're no strangers to a good CT side, but it is going to take really everything you've got to put a stop to a Na'Vi that's running headfirst into this second half of play. They're fired up. They're believing.
in a grand final, in a grand slam, in the Na'Vi era. Something that we were denied, you know, all the way back at Katowice. Yeah. Felt like maybe they were robbed and other CIS teams rose to the top in their stead. Well, Na'Vi are here to play now. Outside push for Heroic. Umic, not aware of this. He's in the lion's den. And oh. it's called that because it's full of lions. They're going to start to chomp down upon him. Boomic dead. Electronic's still holding, but he could get overwhelmed here. There are a lot of bodies outside. They're now running away. They don't want to hang around forever, especially as other bits of real estate are being secured by this Na'Vi squad. They stack three. Oh, now everyone down on this lower site, <laughs> dropping in through the vent, trying to get ahead uh -oh. of the Na'Vi game plan. This is a nice read. It's all, it's CT Mirage all over again. It's Heroic just making five-man stacks on bomb sites, and oh, Electronic might figure it out. He might clean A completely. That will call for the cavalry backup ramp. Cadians realize he's trying to hunt them down, but this spot for bit is massive information. He just evades. He just escapes and gives the B. Have it for free. We've got that top site. Electronic cuts off the vent rotate. Stan won't even get a shot out in main. They're coming from Hut. And yeah, you've got that AK on Shush. Yeah, you've got some flashes on Kadian, but what can you really make of this round? Surely nothing. It's going to have to be the best flash of his career. Simple's waiting for it. Now Shush pokes his head in, but nothing to be found. Not yet. Got to wait for that heaven contact first. Yeah, Kadian flashing from deep off the angle. That's just to take heaven back. The AK brushed aside, and well, the gun's gonna pull through for Na'Vi. They put a stop to this retake. Kadian gets out of there with an AK. He'd love to hold on to that, but will Simple let him? Will he show mercy? Oh no, Electronic's not planning to, and neither is Simple. The Eco's not today. But you take the round regardless. Style with a gun be blown towards him. Oh, it's lost in the mist. And so it's a Navi round and Stal saves some armor. That's at least gonna give him the AWP immediately dropped to Cadian. So set up for success. We need that strong CT sniper. Simple certainly was you know part of the picture there in the first half. He was all over the place. He was pushing up outside, he was no scoping in vent, he was dropping B, he was playing heaven. It's just simple stuff, man. What can Cadian show us? Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on Heroic right now. You know, they can't afford to have a slow CT start. We saw that back on overpass for both squads going 5-0 down to open it. That cannot afford to be the case here. Osnavi will be sprinting towards the finish line. Kadian, that is a big kill to find, and you know it. Stown's hanging about, but he's going to get oh. cleared. Electronic does flush him out and gives that 4-on-4 four four back over. That's going to re-entice Kadian to try clamp down on this outside control. Very hard shot to hit for Cadian. Simple attempted that in the first half, but it wasn't around where Heroic went outside. So that's, uh, yeah, you've got to hit that. You have a millisecond to react, and Cadian's quick, man. But can they still hold on? Tess is playing Hellside. He is committed. Org, though, we have seen this gun really find multi kills in this position. Going to have to be godlike flashes, and they're going deep for Navi. Won't do a thing. Tess is, this is his round. Yeah, both flashes missed the mark for Tessas. And so he's inviting them in. Come into the org. And well, they will. They accept the invitation and <laughs> they steamroll him out of the round. Is it just going to be the drop to B? They still got Electronic waiting in the wings at Secret and strips another man from the retake. Heroic, they really needed to find success here. And maybe that kill entices you back in. But I'm not so sure. Kadian. No. Fakes the vent drop, but I think that's just to keep players on the B site, stop them from hunting you. As Heroic try to save this AWP and M4, or AK now rather. Yeah, Heroic try and save base. It's, uh, you can see, uh, like, this is just not overpass, right? Like, wow, well, obvious statement, I'm sure, but it, it, it's so crazy. Yeah, I know, it's so crazy. <laughs> This game is still going, by the way. Yeah, it's so crazy how much more comfortable Na'Vi look on the T side of this map, right? We often say that T sides can be scary. We know the clock and Na'Vi are synonymous in history, but uh, they just look so much more comfortable here. Electronic, you know, he, while he's a beast outside and in secret on the CT half, he's doing the same on T side. He's committing behind fake smokes. He's cutting off rotations. Na'Vi is so good at manipulating their opponents yeah. around the map and making them uncomfortable, finding what he wants in a map where double setups are so common. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, like like on Mirage as well, like, you know, not be a, a big fan of like a very grandiose strategy that all comes together towards the end of the round. On Overpass, it just feels like it lacks that same direction. You know, it's yeah. like it's like a so real great. shadow of, of what the T-sides are on other maps. But it's all well and good because as long as your T-side holds up here in this third map, you're on your way to a winner. Shush donning the auto shotgun. I do right. love this purchase. Yep. Top Hut is a mean place for an auto shot. RV, are they going to feed the beast? The alligator up on top of hot roof. RV wanted to go there. They were lining up main smokes and flashes, but that smoke will hold them off for a few seconds. Boomich re-aggresses outside to make sure Heroic haven't pushed, and they might change the game plan for Na'Vi. They could go back to late smokes, get this outside cross in. Sounds in secret, it seems, to deny the lower take. We have a double ramp as well, yeah, Stown has that info if Na'Vi want to cross, and so they do. Smoke's going in, and even if these are fake, that's again something that Stown can confirm. And so Na'Vi go back to A, they've got to go soon. Otherwise, Stown's going to get that info, and he's going to say, guys, yard is clear. He flashes, he smokes early rather to get a one way, and he's already got that info. Electronic on a lurk outside, and Cadian attacks the lobby. It's all confirmed now. Heroic know what's going on, and Cadian is giving us the goods. Two inside the lobby, and he still won't stop. Shotgun in the hut, killing simple here wins you the round. Yeah. Oh, and well, it's easy for the shotgun. Simple dead. Even though Electronic gets that kill outside, there's really not a lot of success to be found here for Na'Vi. Perfectly timed re-aggression from KD and into the lobby. As you say, Stown outside confirms, yeah, it's not the outside play. They're waiting back in the lobby. I can't see anyone. KD and pushes in. He's got the read on that second player swinging him as well. I think it was bit. Beautiful scenes on that push. And so Heroic live to fight another day. Eight to their name, and they're not letting Na'Vi run away with this one. Yeah, 4-0 to start the half, but it's the same sort of story as Overpass, isn't it? And it's on the same half as well. Very different map, very different Na'Vi, at least from the uh, you know look on the offset. But it's always been, you know, get the guns, get the double orb, get your money flowing, and then that comeback begins you also, those strangers. You also came into that round with like a fair few limitations, right? Yeah. Like the Org, the Orb, those were like your two big ticket items, but then you had downgrades on, you know, guys like Shush with the auto shot. Well, he makes that work. Everyone gets an upgrade. Look at all the AKs in play for Heroic. You know, that's like a real confidence boosting, money making round, and it sets them up for a bit of success in this second half. Kadian has yes. early dropped B and is trying to go secret again. They they want to get ahead of this outside smoke setup. Yeah, you just never know which setup Navi going to throw, right? They, you even saw that molly on main roof, as shown by observing team, and that that is a stop of smoke that bounces off of main roof and lands on the yard. The smokes do come, but they come later, dodging the Molotov. Any way to stop that wall is denied for Heroic KD. Oh, the drop! There was a double face. Boomich dies for the cause, but is the cause enough? Are they going to get that trade? Cadian escapes just in time. Respokes the angle as well, and Electronic can't find Refresh out CT. Or Tessis, rather, it's refreshed to save him, and they even see Na'Vi escaping from secret. Cadian Smoke has kept him back, and Bit is trying to attack the A site. That might be temptation for Perfecto. He's just lost the bomb. Yeah, the two rookies left up in this one. Bit brushed aside and Perfecto one on three. Oh, he doesn't notice the swing out from behind blue. Four by three? Or? Yeah, it must be nine on the board for Heroic. And the money in a very interesting place now. It's not uncommon to see, you know, hero rifle rounds, hero orps even purchased up. You're definitely enticed with Perfecto sitting on 7K. But there's no ignoring the fact that it's in the back of our minds. Heroic are closing this gap and now in. We have that double face, that little drop play for Boomich. Did not work though. Kadian plucked him out of thin air. Now starting on ramp as the solo player. More smokes for Na'Vi and they will commit with them. Yeah, flash outside. No one's able to peek on the back of this, but it does put the fear oh. into electronic. Yeah, that, that, you had to go through that molly as well, right? Like, that molly was so late, the, the smokes would have faded before the molly did. Luckily, it wasn't, or it was too deep, rather. Simple as breaking windows to line up utility, but it could just be a ruse. It could just be keeping Heroic occupied on that A site. So if that was a person Simple was jumping at, guarantee yeah. kill when it's a stationary glass window. Nah, mate, no Not chance. Harder. 
Right, so here we are, grouping up over towards ramp for Na'Vi. They break the A windows to get Heroic Paranoid. That's all Kadian. it is, a bit of paranoia. Cadian and Tessas both moving in to hold ramp. Simple opens up with a frag to refresh, and that might change the Na'Vi game plan here. That was a hot push. Very dangerous decision. They're about to walk into the stack. Now Na'Vi are going back. Yeah, with Boomich wrapping heaven, this is a big problem for Heroic. They are re-aggressing onto the lobby from Tessas, but it's this heaven wrap that could seal the deal. Shush up close, Whoa. Acadian holding, but no one is considering Boomich in the back. There's the first. He didn't spot the hot man, but Simple trades it out. And Tessas has just missed this timing. It's close, though. He's right there. He's hot on their heels. He won't be able to stop that bomb going oh. down, but he does at least deal with Simple. It's another man back in the lobby, and Tessas is all too prepared to fight wow. to the death. Two on two in the blink of an eye, and the AKs are gone for Na'Vi. It's the Deagle. It's the Tech 9 that have got to get this one over the line. It's down CT Vent. He should be aware of this. Oh, needs to keep an eye on it. Electronic with the oh, swing. No. Can't find a thing. This round was set up for Boomich to be the guy to close it. He's got a flash, and that's it for his peak. They're on the bomb. The guy without the kit has tapped it, and Boomich dead on the swing. Maybe. It's very, very close, but I think no. Heroic have got themselves a 10th double digit secured, and that round is stripped away from Na'Vi in a two on four. Oh, that fast flank, man. You felt like it wasn't going to be enough to win it out, but Heroic are just so calm in those moments. Tess says he takes a deep breath. He gets simple off of the plot as soon as he gets that bomb down. And yeah, you thought that was a perfect Na'Vi round, even with this trade. It's a four on two at that point. Nothing Electronic can do as he gets cleared by Stown. Boomich, a very difficult clutch. You can't even blame him there as well. 1v2 out of heaven. It's such a hard angle to lock in. And yeah, simple head in hands. Navia feeling this one slipping away right now. Much akin to overpass three in a row. Heroic. Oh dear. Now they're just throwing themselves at Navi. Back turn. Free B. And they run into the A site. It's coming to cost. Electronic has taken the lobby player out, but it's again the pistols here for Navi that have to hold strong. Perfecto with some taps, but refresh fires back. And even though Electronic has the bomb, this would be the clutch of the map. Yeah, and they're starting to piece it together very, very quickly. They've rotated into hell. They see him dropping. Electronic, he wants you to fight him. He wants you to give him a way back in. But refresh skirts on out of there. Electronic left with no other option but to move into this B site. He's going to go ahead and get on the bomb. They swing the door, but nothing found for Stown. And Electronic's given time. Given time to reposition. KD in at ramp should be ready for a swing. Is just holding back right oh. now, knowing all the pressure is on electronic, cool, calm, and collected from Cadian as he waits at the top of ramp. The rest of his team are out in the site, and Cadian knows with no contact getting made, he's pieced together where electronic is. He knows just him being here is a nuisance, is a problem. The tag only confirms it, and that is really, really lovely out of heroic. Detective Cadian on the case, mate. The Sherlock Holmes up above the ramp, pieces it together with the little... Can they find the target? Well, they've got this investment, but if this one doesn't go their way, mate, they are... They're broke again. And that would suddenly be Heroic looking to take the lead. Once more, there's this early drop into secret uh -oh. zone. That they've done a hell of a lot. Stown's up close on main. They are trying to get a past him. A little gap in that smoke, but the flashes get electronic by and into the garage. What do they want to do with him here? They've got all this control. They've got all this room. Electronic's just trying to be a thorn in the side of Heroic, but Cadian has been dispatched to deal with oh him. Oh my goodness. They're, they're trying to collapse on They've got main, they're coming up secret. Boomich has drawn the attention, but Electronic's back is turned. Boomich might die for the cause, but it's Electronic to turn into the orb that he never knew was there. Cyclops mode for Cadian, it's nothing new. Bit needs the Deegan, it won't do. Refresh drops the bomb with a couple, and he can just lock down this angle. One more, we'll seal the deal. It's Perfecto in a clutch. And this guy, known for his clutching, but this is not one, surely not. Hot Roof ready to swing, he heard it. But he knows if he takes a wide peak, Refresh can lock in the round. Perfecto would love to grab that bomb. It's just out in front of the door, out on an island. He goes slow. He goes quiet for a second. That can make Heroic consider different positions. And Perfecto maybe gets a 1v1 here. Bomb picked up and his escape allowed. But inside of ramp is Cadian's orb. 
all over the place. Perfecto sneaks out. No time. Picks up a nade. They hear that. They know he's committed. He's jumping. He's playing. But they'll just shoot down from above and lock in the equalizer. 12 to 12. Heroic. Don't know when to give up. Yeah, uh, you can never count this squad out. You can never think a match is one slipping away. It can't afford to. This is not only the Grand Slammers looking to lock in a finalist placing, but this is a 10 win streak to be broken by the Danes if they can keep this up. They're full of confidence. Why wouldn't they be? Stout throws himself into Electronic with Cadian's Flash. It's a free kill and no punish. And he's still just so raring to go, so willing to fight. This was a sort of confidence that you never really saw from Na'Vi. You never really see from Na'Vi. Oh, oh, simple! Oh. How does he hit those? What is that? That's it. He goes, it like, he took the hardest route possible. I'm yeah, throw a little up. 180 around the world. What back again? Heads off down. But now they got to run into KD and at ramp. Oh. Jiggles, wiggles. They're giving him vertigo, but the molly. It's going to separate this push only for a moment, right? And with Kadian conceding, with them dropping refreshing through the vent, and Kadian instead electing to watch for this hell control. It's not the end of the world. You've kept them in ramp. You've got them boxed in. Yeah, this is fine. I don't want to give up a three on three. Let Na'Vi take this space. You've already dispatched a rotation. Refresh is ready on lower. Now, this guy has just been an absolute tank. 22 and 15 right now. No one rivaling that on his side. Molly comes in. Refresh is going to have to go in front of this. He's going to have to be in the open. On the stairs, got a bit of room to work with. They jump through in sync. And oh, he's going to drown him. Just one man. No part today. Bit is dead. And refresh on one health. It's always the closest of margins for this guy. Three health against Grim. One against Bit. And 13 up for Heroic. They can taste victory. Forget the silver platter. It's on a platinum plate. I mean, I tell you what, like, re Refresh, you know, he, he wasn't... He didn't come into this, like, rip-roaring at the beginning of the series, especially when you think about how he ended the, uh, the the liquid one. He looked good throughout the entire thing, but it feels like he's kept it all in the tank for this third yeah. map. We're getting an incredible game out of him when it really matters most. It's been a long one as well. A slow burn. A reverse sweep, perhaps. Cadian, different round, different position, keeping you guessing as Na'Vi run outside smokes. Yeah, they're trying to get down. They're trying to get by. Refresh, there's a very small gap there, and he doesn't want to get caught giving over this early pick. They get down secret. But already a double rotation here from Heroic, and Bits had to concede the lobby, trying to make sure these boys in secret don't get wrapped outside. You need to win these opens. Tess says, and Stown are not going to go easy on you. Stown waiting a decon, he's fighting to the death. There's one. Oh, making a double. Stown won't let them in. He takes three to the grave with him, and he's set up Heroic for a 14th round, traded by Simple. But him and Bit are worlds apart on different ends of the map, different levels of the game. Bit all alone out into this A bomb site. And now that they've seen him, they could just even swing. Simple, looking to come up the vent, but they've gone into the stack. They played oh. right into Heroic's hands. Cadian. They don't know about ah. Cadian, but a missed shot. Oh, making a double. Bit's going to get this bomb down. It's all set up for Simple to close out the round. It's a heaven plant with Simple taking outside control. Cadian had chances to close this round. He does not want those missed shots to be what has this fall apart for Heroic. Oh, no. They don't know about Simple in Heaven. They just saw him on the A site, but now it makes it all too clear with him getting that kill. Cadian, how on earth are you meant to win this? How on earth are you meant to pick this round up? They hear it, oh. and there's the lock in 13 13, and that is one hell of a recovery. Think about what Stown got away with down on B. You thought that was the death sentence, but a wonderfully played two on four out of the Na'Vi boys. Yeah, they lose that round, it's game. It, it, it's as good as done, like Heroica feeling it. And this round is no exception. Everyone tries to take that fight, tries to trade the kill, and Simple just shoots 
Winter and his teammates had to get it done. The Heaven post plant doing what Boomich couldn't. And Bit even locks in that kill to Cadian, who ran at the last second. He would have had his back turned if he kept walking that Dude, that, that's so lovely. Simple drops the bomb over and just makes the call. I'm going Heaven. I'm yeah. winning the round. Like, just plant the bomb, I'll do the rest. And it all comes together. Unbelievable. It's kept Na'Vi in this one. Cadian is kicking himself. We've seen him close series from the hut position on this map. Clutches out the wazoo. Not today, not here. Even though he's had pretty imp impactful, important CT sniper shots. Not when it mattered most. 13-13. Is that going to cost them more than one round? Will it get Na'Vi back in the groove? A streak of six broken. Stown's triple kill. Forgotten. He sits at the back of garage now. Watching that main cross, it's not that. Na'Vi are B3, 4, in fact, have made it lower. And even though they've done it quietly, Heroic have still made the right read. They've dropped two into the bomb site. Tess and refresh, top and bottom respectively. And they're ready to hold strong. Tessas makes first Whoa. contact and he makes it in a big way now. They shouldn't be ready for refresh and he collects that kill for free. Only electronic left ah. And yeah, he drops down onto him. It's back in a two on two. There's no simple to save the day this time around, but Bit, the man from the last, one of the heroes that emerged for Na'Vi, still kicking it large on this rotation. Heroic are pushing their way in through ramp. And electronic. Oh, oh, with the swing, he's down and out for the count. Cadian to close. It's that re-aggression in through ramp. Na'Vi were expecting way more respect out of Heroic there, but they get given nothing. And just like that, all the Heroics in that two on... I mean, I say two on five. I guess it was a two on five with the trade coming in immediately in the round prior. All those Heroics might be for nothing. Couple of techs. Heroic have everything going for them right now. Is that where Na'Vi's finalist is forged? Or will they just fall? So, like, if we're talking bare minimums here, because Na'Vi want to win this round. They're, they're playing to win the whole damn round. But at a bare minimum, they need a bomb plant to lock in guns in the next. If they get that, you know, there's still hope at an overtime. I think we're due in overtime, Harry. We haven't had one this Feels series. Feels like it, right? It would be fitting for this series. It really would. But will Heroic let that happen? Can Na'Vi muster up that kind of scoreline? Hey, Bob. Not seeing a full exec here. Are they going to commit? Everyone's going out. Stan's smoked off right now. Oh, dear. Bit's going to drop vent. It's a cancel. Na'Vi have got a man down enemy lines. Yeah, smooth moves as well. He does it silently, but is now making noise, giving the illusion that, you know, players have gotten down the vent. He's trying to psych out Heroic right now and play with the mindset of these CTs. Oh, oh Mitch, he's had a very quiet what? game, but that double might just turn the tide to Na'Vi's favor. He had six kills coming into this round, but the two that he just got there might make all the damn difference. Na'Vi with the bomb down on A, with the money gone for Heroic, they are left saving. 14-14, and out of nowhere, Boomich has kept Na'Vi in this one. He's been the bottom performer all game long. He's, he's come in very, very slow on impact. He's, you know, often been that guy going in first, getting traded the Boomich way, but damn, that is a time to come alive, to get a double kill outside and force Heroic's hand. We were talking about Na'Vi money. We weren't even really thinking about the prospect of Heroic getting swept so significantly. But bit down the vent, forces Stown's rotation. That gives up position as Heroic panic, struggle, try to get back down secret. Boomich doubles down. Bit wins his fight, and Heroic are locked out. 14 all. Anyone's game, but more Na'Vi's than Heroic's. Heroic won't even have to make the call to cut and dry to play for overtime, even with this orb save that you won't have in the last round, regardless of what happens if you lose it here. You can't really buy fully round this. It's going to cost you everything. And so they do it. The biggest risk of all. They need the reward. Oh, my. And, you know, if there ever was a time that you're nervous about Na'Vi going fast, it's in a round like this where, where you've got next to nothing. Na'Vi throw the outside smokes. They know they're up against a wounded heroic here. 
The scout outside, the AWP down on the B site. Cadians had good impact on these secret plays. If there ever was a time for that to continue, it's in this round where you've put everything on the line. Your chance at victory relies on this force and more than ever oh. relies on this AWP and AUG. Yeah, I like Cadian starting lower as well. When he's been down here from spawn, he's had really, really important rounds for Heroic, right? We love the flow torp as well, but it just means you don't have to panic or rotate. So as long as Cadian's still alive, he can just be your sole guy downstairs. You can play for top site. Ramp can give it up, go back towards hell, or drop and join him. You get a lot more options with Cadian reinforcing B here. The danger is Cadian could get completely avoided. Electronic's gonna walk in though. If he does it dry, might be a dead man. Dink through the corner. Electronic wants to hunt his prey, but also doesn't want to go astray. Navi is still group back lobby. And they're even taking ramp. Heroic have been forced out of that position by Utility. Oh my god, it's a deagle to open. Shush has seen them lining up Utility for A. That's info ahead of time. He's waiting close at the hut. Will they check for him? The deagle up close. It's good for one. Boom, it's trades up in heaven. The scout can't find a thing. Tess says, I want to come oh! through the main smoke, but Simple says no, and they've had enough. Navi send Heroic packing. The A play works wonders. And they're up onto 15. Heroic put it all into winning that round. They have got nothing left into round number 30. What a call for Boomich as well, right? We've not seen top hits on this T side. At least when Heroic went for them in the, in the first half, they were very measured. They were out in the first 20 seconds with that, you know, Molly smoke, uh, sorry, Molly backside, main smoke, flashes over the top. That's all you needed. And you really just rumbled Na'Vi. Na'Vi just do it out the gate. Boomish with that massive multi-kill outside. Back into the cool to do the A-pop. Stan's dead here. Goodbye. 15-14. And all for nothing for Heroic if they can't make it overtime. And we said the implications of buying there, the danger that it brings you, that is now paramount. That is now in your face. It's all you're thinking about. Na'Vi, five kills away from the grand final against Vitality. Oh, and yeah, I mean, the, the, the pressure, the frustration, it's all setting in for Heroic. All the what-ifs, all the worries. Your biggest nightmare's coming true before your very eyes. Deagles is what they've got to try and get this game to overtime with. And Na'Vi, as is often the case, take it slow right away. Looking like they want to try and take ramp, but Perfecto, oh, there's boy. one. It almost becomes a double. That was so nearly a lineup. They've dealt with Kadia to refresh down. Oh, no, now they deal with refreshing down. The last guy remaining, he can't.